Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well today. Today, we're uh, This week we've been talking about God's will in 2023. What would God want me to accomplish um, by the end of 2023? Well, there are, there are essentials. We talked about the importance of the Bible study and prayer every day, but you know, it's also that God has called you and I to be witnesses. It is God's will for you and I to be a witness this year. I mean, uh, you know, people will use a cop out and say, "Well, I'm a living witness. I am a, um, I'm a light in a dark world." And I get that. I, that's important that we are. We live what we say we believe. But in truth, there comes a time where you and I need to verbalize or get that person that we're trying to be a living witness for. And, and bring them uh, to the church or bring them, uh, open up the word of God to them. And so we're looking at Matthew 28, 19 and 20, the Great Commission. It says, uh, Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. So he's saying here that you and I are to go. And certainly this was given to the church. It was given to the disciples. and uh, But the admonition for you and I to go. Remember a couple of months ago when we were talking about the, the rewards that all of us have the potential of receiving when we go to the judgment seat of Christ. When all believers stand before Almighty God, he's going to judge us based on how we've been obedient to his word. And we said that one of those crowns that are given uh, to faithful believers is, is the soul winner's crown given to those who are faithful witnesses for Jesus Christ. And so, you know, yesterday we talked about prayer and the, is God's will for us to pray. Maybe during that prayer time, your prayer time, you begin to add one or two people in that you're concerned about them spiritually. They're not Either they're a wayward believer, they're, they're, they say they're saved, but they're certainly not living that way, or they're not saved and we want to see them come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And so it may be a family member, it may be your child, it may be your uh, in-laws, or it may be your neighbors, it may be your work associates, it could be any, any person, your spouse. And you begin to pray for them, you begin to share Jesus with them. You begin to look for opportunities to invite them to attend church with you, especially if you attend a church that uh, gives the gospel of Jesus Christ, gives people an opportunity to uh, to respond to the gospel during an invitation. You Maybe you make videos like this available to them. Hey, I thought uh, I watched Pastor Osborne, Pastor Marvin today, and I thought you would... Um, this you'd be interested in this or whatever else and uh because i oftentimes give a a the invitation to receive christ listen you can't you can't lead anybody to christ i mean you can lead people to, but you can't you can't make someone trust christ as their savior right that's a work of the holy spirit but god has allowed us to enter into that uh evangelism evangelism process by sharing the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God is going to give you an opportunity to share your testimony. I was once this, but I found Jesus. And although I'm not perfect today, um, as far as my conduct, in God's eyes I am. And you know, you can tell people how God saved you and changed you and took you where you were on a uh, on the highway to hell and now you're in on the you know on the pathway to heaven through Jesus Christ that you have eternal life let me encourage you i believe it is god's will for you to be a faithful witness this year who has god laid on your heart who are you concerned about i believe everyone has someone they're concerned about spiritually and um uh, this is the year. This is this is the year. I believe it's God's will for you to share Jesus with them. Amen. So begin to pray for them. 
in your daily time. Ask God for open doors. Uh, look for ways to share Christ with them and, uh, and see what God does. I'd be glad to hear your testimonies um, as you're faithfully witnessing to them and seeing what God does. Amen? Amen. God's will in 2023 for you and for me is to be a faithful witness. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well and I'll talk to you soon.